Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome ye all to part 26 of Dragon Age Inquisition on the Xbox One X. We are exactly where we were at the end of part 25 and we're going to crack straight in. We've just rescued Liliana from the torture chamber. We are in the future, people. We've been shot into the future. And everything's gone to hell in a damn handbasket, I tell you. Let's get going. If you've skipped any episodes, you'll notice that I am now a rogue dagger rather than a rogue bow, just for a change of pace. Uh, hmm. Whoa, Jesus Christ, that hurt. <laughs> well, that dagger business went well. Is he going to get me up? Ah, she's up. Right, we're going to have to get used to that, aren't we? Proper out of trouble there. Ooh, Bleeder of Souls. That looks rather nice. Bianca Arms 2. My knives are pretty uber, though. I'd be surprised if that's better. Yeah, but 84 damage on mine. Not to mention the extra dexterity and stuff. There's plus 20 damage versus living rider. Right Easy now. Yeah, um, that looks like a way out, doesn't it? There's a door down there, so... There was another door up here. I think. Ah, well that's where the marker is that happens. We need to find Alexius. I'm sure he'll be in the nicer part of the castle, if there is one. Whoa, the hellfire. I bloody red, didn't even realise it was a riff. What an idiot. so focused on <laughs> getting these new moves. I mean, I'm literally just using them for the sort of third fight or something. No, I'm not even aware of what the hell I'm fighting. Check the corners. It's making the fighting a bit more interesting, though. 
docks, is it? Docks. The Magister needs more power for his rituals. No! Don't put me in Nice. I think what was happening was in the other fights, I was forgetting what my bog standard move was. So once I used up my powers, I was just running around like a twat, for what of a better word. <laughs> That's a technical term, that people. I think you're fine. There is a bit of an argument that says that we don't have another ranged person on the team though, so it could be we bring Sarah back as a bow person. Let's see how we go. I certainly won't keep him as the mage, I'll bring Solas back. Hang about. Hang about. Oh mind you, it might be oh no, it's there. Also, I remembered having an overnight sleep last night, that we picked up some Fade Touch stuff when we were wandering around one of the other episodes, either the last one or the one before. So I need to make sure that I use that wisely. Because that puts guard... If you use it wisely, you can end up with guard that never falls effectively. So you're just utterly protected when you get really uber. But I'll try and save it for when we get tier 3, tier 4 or whatever. Armors. Or weapons for that matter. It's everywhere. Shit. You can fit a lot of demons through that thing. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I there it be. Looks stunning. Panning beautifully as well. Plays so beautifully on the X this. Gorgeous. Hello. Nice. Oh, damage I'm doing with those daggers is insane. Even with my bog standard move, bloody awesome. Come on now. Let's have a bit of rift action. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, start to feel these daggers, bloody awesome. Is that not done yet? Feel the power of the green side of the force. Not a huge amount of pickups in this section, is there? Onward! Let's go, team! Ooh, like a ninja! Yeah, see, like, uh... Blackwall's got on his, got a massive guard on his uh, on himself like a shield. Easy. Static cage ring. That's a. Uh, I'm just having a small question mark as to whether I put rings back on. No, I did not. 
Um, let's see what we've got in the way of rings and our amulet. Second wind. The wearer of this amulet gains a small amount of stamina after killing an enemy. We'll put that on for now until we find something better. Uh, belt's fine. 10% heal bonus. Enhanced ring of sundering. Sunder on hit. Um, sure, let's try it. Caltrops we don't have yet, but we might get them. Enhanced poison weapons ring. Thank you. Oh, we've got shadow strike as well. Well, that poison one, we can definitely... Oh, I haven't used any poison yet, to be fair. Increased ability duration by 30%. So it'll keep the poison on the weapons for longer, I think. Enhanced Shadow Strike Ring. Increased 30% as well. Spinning Blades we don't have yet. Although it is a rogue move. A thousand Cuts. I don't think we have yet. Mm, actually, I think we might have. So we've got Thousand Cuts and we've got Shadow Strike. Oh, that's an increased ability damage by 30%. I'm having a bit of that action. I'm sure... So hang on a sec, let's just check. Shadow Strike... That's Stealth. Yeah, that's Shadow Strike, which I'm using quite a lot. So, it's already got 400% weapon damage on it. And we're about to put another 30% on top. So, I think we'll definitely take a bit of that. Uh, twin Fangs we've got. Spinning Blades, not yet. Death Blow, not yet. So, oh, that's Parry. So, I think the other one was... Possibly twin fangs, was it? I'm trying to remember if sundering is what puts that guard on you. Or no, or no. Or is that guard? Because it'd be quite useful to have the Sunder if that's the case, but... Uh... Maybe it's plus 5%. You'd have to have some in the first place, I suppose. So, let's do the... Uh... Shadow Strike, I think. Yeah, a thousand cuts, we don't, we don't have a thousand cuts yet, do we? Maybe that's not... Anyway. We shall do Shadow Strike for now. Marvellous. So far as everyone else goes, I think they're okay. Okay. Onward. Little look around the corners, see if there's any pickups. Not looking likely. There's a door. Upper Royal Wing. I bet you there's a lower Royal Wing. What? Can't be in a royal place and not have any loots, people. Doors either side. 
Nice. Shocking stuff. Why is it shocking? Because it's got no clothes on? <laughs> Sigil of Lyrium. Plus 50% barrier, minus 50% health. It's a bit of a trade-off, isn't it? That's why I don't use the sigils. I feel like I'm giving up too much to actually use them. <laughs> you right there, fella? No one gave you enough to eat, I take it. You just sat there until you died. I mean, how can we own these things if we go back to the past? They won't have existed yet. Hey, there's a there's a brain challenger for you. Enchanter coat, level two, nice. I'm pretty sure that we picked up a. Yeah, we got those, which seem to be tier one. Yeah, free free army uh, scout armor. Yeah, the minute it's got free in front of it, though, I think it's people only, like human only. Sorry, is what I mean. Ah, sturdy scout. Oh, that's uh, looks like tier one. God damn it! I thought we. I thought mm, maybe. That's weird. Well, maybe the free one that I was trying to do before wasn't uh, a scout armor. Maybe that's why it wasn't working. But I did have something else that was free. Yeah, free army warrior armor. Ooh, Helm of the Inquisitor. We'll get that made, though, for somebody. I wonder if that's what it was, then. Yeah, I must have been maybe trying to make that for her. Don't remember that, though. But we've got a free army scout armor now, so we'll see if we can use that when we go back. God damn it, what have I missed? Aha! What became of Felix? Do you know? Well, Oh, yes. Can you use that multiple times? I know. God damn it. <laughs> and you're not going to tell me. It's a bit annoying. You'll find out soon enough. Every time. Every time. Circle of Magi banner. We had a glacial staff already, though, didn't we? It wasn't as good as the one he's wearing. Lower. I told you there'd be a lower royal wing. Sounds like there's a rift nearby. Can hear it crackling. Anyway. Did I put the quest on the... On me notes, I don't think I did. Right, onward. Here we go. Let's do this, people. Let's do it. I can't get near him. 
<laughs> Poisoned. Thank you. Oh yeah, I'm loving this dagger action now. Come on. There we go. Hello. Didn't see you, mate. Nice. I feel like I'm having more impact on the battle doing it as the the dagger. I felt like the bow wasn't doing a huge amount of damage was my main problem. Thanks. Draste's name is that. Hold on to it. I want to look at it later. <laughs> All right, calm down. Well, there's a multitude of doors here, actually. Right, okay, let's just hang on a sec before I waste that cash, because... Yeah, the pro... <sighs> Then you, you have to hit the action button to see what people's health is. Okay, let's go to... Because it will, I think supplies will, it will replenish the reds, but it won't replenish, yeah, it won't replenish the yellows, so I basically just did that for everybody. Uh, the question is, is this going to be the way we're meant to be going? Or is it multiple ways into the same? Or is this the way we came? There's also red lyrium shards to find, which will be a little side quest that we don't want to fail on. Oh, hello. Get the vent with the book if we sneak up on him. Always find a claymore in an RPG somewhere, along with a bastard sword. I've got to say though, the chests are pretty disappointing in this game. Certainly playing it on normal. I don't know if they're any different on. Uh... Well, that's a medium armor, sturdy hunter mail. That might do us. Tier two. Have a look at that. So the schematic, sorry, schematics are okay, but weapons and stuff that you pick up from chests, a lot of them are really just not that exciting at all. Uh, but I think it's almost like they did it on purpose to force you to craft stuff. Cause Every now and then you pick up a good one, but... Right, red, 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 red lyrium, two of five. What happened here? Somebody had very questionable taste. I guess if we follow the lyrium blobs, we might end up at all the lyrium shards, maybe. Bit of a guess. They haven't noticed us yet. Good opportunity to look for higher ground. Get that enchanter! 
dead already. Another red lyrium, thank you. Another door. I feel like there should have been more looting in this room. There's another door here, actually. Oh, hello. Might just have been a vantage point for battle, though, this. Yeah. I don't want to inadvertently end up at the throne room is my problem. I want these two other sh red lyriums. Oh, oh, those two things. See, it's giving me a bloody hunting bow schematic the minute I'm not a bloody <laughs> hunting person anymore. It's like, what? No, oh, hang on. No, it's only a tier one, though. So, I'm wondering if it's worth doing the other room first. Oh, hang on. There it is. Uh might come out to the same place, to be fair. Yeah, it does. Oh, hello. Some reddens in that next room. Oh, we can bash through into the next room. Nice. Proper sneak attack, he had no chance of it. One more Lyrium Shard to get. What did that say? Under attack. Are we still under attack? I don't think so. Ah, uh, uh, the enemy's at the other side of the wall, that's why. It wasn't a lyrium shard, it was just gold we got off of them. So we've still got one to get. Right, hang on. Let's be careful here. Red lyrium shard. Uh. Well, that's th that must be the throne room up here, surely.
Oh, some nice silver earrings, that's nice. It also feels a bit disappointing when you pick up cloth, but it's so important to crafting. The good stuff. What damage did Alexis' spell do? Rifts tore apart all of Southern Thedas, starting here. But whether that's his doing or the breach, who can say? Hmm. Feeling a little bit like... Well, there's not anything else in there that we've missed by the looks of it. Door to the right and door to the left. Yeah, we'll have to. Yeah, it has to be fine. It must be on the way. Gotta have faith, Blair. So that was one door we opened. Find a way back to the throne room. Uh. See, so that's the throne room there. And that's Red Lyrium up there. If we save it, just in case we do need to come back. Does like a straight run across those. Yeah. Are they prey? Let's try to take them by surprise. Cover the stairs. Oh shit, didn't even realise my health had gone that low. Lovely. Oh, we know the revive function the works. Hall. I think I know how we'll open that door. Hoi, okay, we've got all of the red lyrium now. Anything grey can go straight in the valuables and get sold, I think. Picked up quite a lot of stuff, to be fair, but it's only good for coin. Not sure why the reinforced dagger won't stop being highlighted, but anyway. They're both identical. Got a few sigils now. All 
All right, good to go. Throne room time. Time to end this badger. Hmm. Vantage point, maybe. Let's have a look. Yeah, what was it? Bloody healing seems to be lasting for ages. Not that I'm going to complain. Oh, is it because it was revived, maybe? Here goes nothing. Here we go. I hoped I'd find you here. You'll pay for this. Let's finish this. You're here alone. No Venatori this time, Alexius. Where is the trap? Your guards? There's no longer any point. I knew you would appear again. Not that it would be now, but I knew I hadn't destroyed you. My final failure. Was it worth it? Everything you did to the world, to yourself. It doesn't matter now. All we can do is wait for the end. What do you mean? What's ending? <laughs> the irony that you should appear now of all the possibilities. All that I fought for, all that I betrayed, and what have I wrought? Ruin and death, that is nothing else. The Elder One comes for me, for you, for us all. <sighs> Felix! That's Felix. Make his breath, Alexius. What have you done? He would have died, Dorian. I saved him. Please, don't hurt my son. I'll do anything you ask. Give us the amulet. Hand over the amulet, and we let him go. Let him go, and I swear you get what you want. I want the world back. <laughs> oh, Liliana, what have you done? No! Fight! <laughs> Fight my own guy. Oh, that hurt. God's sake, I can't see who's who. Try to kill Red Bull now.
The hell? He's done. He wanted to die, didn't he? All those lies he told himself, the justifications. He lost Felix long ago. He didn't even notice. I know you cared for him. Once he was a man to whom I compared all others. Sad, isn't it? This is the same amulet he used before. I think it's the same one we made in Minrathus. That's a relief. Give me an hour to work out the spell he used, and I should be able to reopen the rift. An hour? That's impossible! You must go now! Oh, shit. There's a reason they won. We'll head up front. Keep them off your tail. No, I won't let you commit suicide. Look at us. We're already dead. The only way we live is if this day never comes. All right. Your spell. You have as much time as I have arrows. What? <laughs> you haven't got any arrows. <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh, she has. <laughs> I'll let her off. <laughs> Though darkness closes, I am shielded by flame. Andraste, guide me. Maker, take me to your side. You move, and we all die. You'll have to do better than that. Liliana is so badass. I wish we could have had her on the side like we did in the first one. You failed, Alexius. How forgiving is your elder one? You won. There is no point extending this charade. Felix. It's going to be all right, Father. You'll die. Everyone dies. Well. Glad that's over with. Or not. <laughs> Grand Enchanter, we'd like to discuss your abuse of our hospitality. Your Majesties, when we offered the Major Sanctuary, we did not give them the right to drive our people from their homes. King Alistair, Queen Anora, I assure you, we never intended... In light of your actions, good intentions are no longer enough. You and your followers have worn out your welcome. Leave Ferelden or we'll be forced to make you leave. But we have hundreds who need protection. Where will we go? You'll be leaving here with the Inquisition. 
And what are the terms of this arrangement? Hopefully better than what Alexius gave you. The Inquisition is better than that, yes? No one fights well for their captors. It seems we have little choice but to accept whatever you offer. We would be honored to have you fight as allies at the Inquisition's side. A generous offer. But will the rest of the Inquisition honor it? The breach threatens all of Thedas. We cannot afford to be divided now. We can't fight it without you. Any chance of success requires your full support. It's a generous offer. I doubt you're going to get a better one from us. We Alice has got hard. It would be madness not to. I will gather my people and ready them for the journey to Haven. The breach will be closed. You will not regret giving us this chance. I don't know. We've just been to the future. <laughs> Everybody disapproved of that, apart from two of the, the whole whatever it is we've got now. It was only Blackwall and one other that approved. I'm trying to think who it was. Le uh, Solas. I keep nearly saying Legolas. Solas. <clears throat> It's not a matter for debate. There will be abominations among the mages, and we must be prepared. If we rescind the offer of an alliance, it makes the Inquisition appear incompetent at best, a tyrannical at worst. What were you thinking, turning mages loose with no oversight? The veil is torn open. Uh, we need their cooperation. They deserve freedom. I lied to them. Consider this their probation. Um, I'm try. I'm worried about getting too many disapprovals. I think if you get too many disapprovals, you can lose people. Uh, either they deserve the freedom, or we need the cooperation. We need them to close the breach. It's not going to work if we make enemies of them. I know we need them for the breach, but they could do as much damage as the demons themselves. Enough arguing. None of us were there. We cannot afford to second guess our people. The sole point of the Herald's mission was to gain the Mage's aid, and that was accomplished. The voice of pragmatism speaks. Here I was, just starting to enjoy the circular arguments. Closing the breach is all that matters. I got a taste of the consequences if we fail. Let's make sure we don't. We will not fail. We should look into the things you saw in this dark future. The assassination of Empress Selene. A demon army. Sounds like something a Tevinta cult might do. Orle falls, the Imperium rises. Chaos for everyone. One battle at a time. It's going to take time to organize our troops and the mage recruits. Let's take this to the war room. Join us. None of this means anything without your mark, after all. Oh, thank you very much. There goes my nap. And I'd hope to sit out the assault on the breach. Take a nap. Maybe go for a walk. <laughs> what is it they say? No rest for the wicked. Meet us there when you're ready. I'll skip the war council, but I would like to see this breach up close, if you don't mind. Then you're staying. Oh, didn't I mention? The south is so charming and rustic. I adore it to little pieces. I must admit I'm surprised. We both saw what could happen. What this Elder One and his cult are trying to do. Not everything from Tevinter is terrible. Some of us have fought for eons against this sort of madness. It's my duty to stand with you. That future will not come to pass. Dorian will not join the Inquisition. Dorian will join the Inquisition. Dorian will join the Inquisition. There's no one I'd rather be stranded in time with, future or present. 
Excellent choice. But let's not get stranded again anytime soon, yes? I'll begin preparations to march on the summit. Make a willing, the mages will be enough to grant us victory. Mm. We could give him a bit of a run out. He's quite a humorous character, to be fair. And um, we may need... Well, we are going to need another mage, uh, other than Solas. The way the story pans out, we're going to need options. The Inquisition so. appreciates your assistance in this matter, Lady Corbin. And my miners... I understand you were instrumental in garnering the assistance of the rebel mages. It is well done. And I pray this Inquisition fares better than the Chantry in its handling of magic. We will try. In some ways, Andraste had the simpler task. Magic should serve man, and not rule over him. That tells us what should be, but it does not tell us how to get there. So many times the methods of men have undone the spirit of their goals. Once you have sealed the breach, we shall see whether this Inquisition is truer to the Chantry or its own namesake. Can you tell me how our people are doing? What would you like to know? How are the villagers in Haven doing? You did well to gain the mages to your cause. The people have hope that the breach may be sealed. Some of them are returning to the lives they fled. Others are starting fresh. In either case, they no longer believe the world as they know it is ending. Do you have information on people elsewhere? The refugees in the hinterlands are desperate. Without help, starvation or war will claim many lives. Villagers in Crestwood are besieged by their own dead. They have sent word begging for assistance. People are vanishing in the hills of Empress du Lyon. It may be demons or something worse, but they are terrified. More than that, I cannot say. It is a chaotic time for all in Olay and Ferelden. What are you doing to help these people? My sisters and I have been tending to the injured as best we are able. Some refugees come with food, while others arrive empty-handed. I have helped ensure that all have enough to eat. Beyond that, many simply wish the familiar comfort of the chant of light. It is little enough work to offer some comfort to those in pain. Farewell. Until next time. Marvelous. Oh, what's Josephine doing out here? I'll take my leave. Good day. Who is she, Ambassador? A merchant. I thought we should reach out to the dwarves to secure lyrium for the Inquisition's mages. According to Lady Corbin, it raised the ire of the Chantry. How? Access to lyrium makes us rather more formidable than anticipated. We are becoming a challenge. Sadly, the remaining Grand Clerics appear to be consolidating the Chantry's power instead of comforting the masses. Mage circles started falling years ago. The Chantry was troubled even before the Divine's murder. Yet many people continue to bear its great love. We will not benefit from its decline. Little but the Chantry ties Orlais, Nevara, Ferelden, Antiva, and even Rivain to a common cause. Has the Chantry truly promoted such peace? And Rasti's chant is familiar across kingdoms, a source of many shared customs. That is the crucial point. Common ground is the start of all negotiations. So if everyone listens to the chant, things will be smooth as silk. I did say commonality is merely a beginning, but it's an important one. We must learn to think beyond our own wants, to secure peace in Thedas. <laughs> Could start up a little love interest here. How did someone so lovely and selfless go into Orlesian politics, Lady Montelier? Well, that is... Uh, really, you give me too much credit. While you're here, I do have a question. The remaining Grand Clerics sent a missive inquiring about the events at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. They demand to know whether the Inquisition officially claims that Andraste saved you from the breach. If it were up to you, 
How would you reply? I don't claim to be holy. I don't know. That's private. <clears throat> How are you? I'd tell the Chantry I was saved by circumstance, not divine intervention. Yet as rumors your Andraste's herald grow, the Grand Clerics may not believe such a humble reply. A difficult situation, and I thank you for your answer. A good day to you. Good day. We could do with picking a love line, actually, because I think you get a trophy for finishing each love story, possibly. I did, when I did my playthrough, the love interest was Sarah. Um. That will help. Right, well, as it happens... I need to decide what I'm doing with my party. And we did pick up a tier 3 armor finally. We're approaching the hour mark so we could finish this episode up with a little bit of deciding what I'm going to do with these. Well with the party I'm going to use and if I am going to use Sarah. Because I'm conscious that the only distance fighter I've got is a, ma a mage. And Sarah's quite a fun character to walk about with as well. Um, we'd have to respec her. And then we can give her our bow right enough. Steve, what the hell? The banter between Sarah and Cassandra is quite good, actually. We could bring Cassandra back in, but uh, Iron Bull's quite funny as well. Keep Iron Bull in. Freddie Prince Jr. will keep him with us. Yeah, she's got some badass weapons, isn't she? Right, let's. Uh, what are we doing? Accessories. Sarah, right. Right, let's just ram all the bow stuff on it. Oh. So we'll give her all of those. Defo. We'll give her that. Defo. Pretty much what we had when we were a bow person is effectively what I'm thinking. Two left. So we either top up her bow or... Yeah, maybe we'll do that. We'll, we'll top up a couple of the bow moves. Uh, that's the leaping shot. That's the long shot. That's the explosive shot. Damage bonus per target, 25%. Distance, 10 meters. Explosive shot now knocks back your main target several meters upon detonation. Shrapnel from the explosive shot fills the air and sets off deadly reaction that do more damage, more enemies. Yeah, we'll take that, I think. Long shot now rips through every enemy along its path. Yeah, okay. So, now we just need to kit her out. Her armor will be fine. 
<laughs> Couldn't have gone a long way to get her. A weapon! Pretty sure that's the bow we were using. I think that's probably it. I don't think I've got... Have I got any armour that's better than what she's got? No, I've not. Get some accessories on her, though. Uh, a sundering, enhanced ring of caltrops, death blow. Oh, death blows. Uh, oh. oh, yeah, she doesn't need that. She's got it on at the minute. Enhanced parry. That's two I could use, actually. Huh. So there's not actually anything that great that uh, I can stick on her at the minute. So we'll stick a constitution amulet on her. A belt of health she's already got. And the two rings are pointless that she's got on. I've only got one decent, well, one that will work. Ring of Sundering, maybe? Give her that. That'll do it. Right, so we'll have Sarah in the team next time, and... Well, Vivian, we've got Vivian quite highly specced up, and we've now got the other mage guy come in, Dorian. Could probably do a bit with him later, maybe. But I think we'll have Solas, Sarah, and Iron Ball. I think we'll go with that combination. Yeah, I was going to check out the armor. Because we picked up some schematics. <laughs> yeah, it's human only. Yeah, that's annoying. I could have sworn we picked up another... Scout armor when we were out. So annoying. I should have just gone human to play the game. I mean, it's putting a restriction on you for no bloody reason. It's like. Well, the sturdy hunter male might work. That's a tier three. Oh, it's, yeah, that's rogue only. Yeah, let's do that then. That's nicer, actually. It's better for a. Uh... Actually, it's got better stats on it as well. Armor rating's higher. Lovely. So, if we go for... Uh, please have some tough hide left. <laughs> I used most of it, didn't I? Oh, we've got... There we go. Yeah, we've got enough. So we've got 145 armour on this with that rough hide. So the bear hide is cold resistance, range defense. Halla leather is cold resistance. Range defense. Yeah, rough hide's best, isn't it? And the material. So that's... 8% heal bonus, 12% spirit resistance. That's lustrous cotton. Oh, 10% heal bonus, that's a big possibility. Velveteen Dream. Right, yeah, it's going to be that one then, isn't it? Plus percent, plus ten percent heal bonus, I think. Nice.
kind of tempted to make Sarah the same armour. Don't know if I have enough stuff left. I've got enough rough hide to do the first segment. It's quite cool how she looks different when it's designed for her. Oh no, that's what she's wearing now, isn't it, I think? Maybe. Oh, I can't remember. Bear hide will give her cold resistance, range defense, 4%. I don't think there's enough there. Uh, yeah, rough hide, too short to give her the six range defense. And I didn't do that. What did I do with this? Can't remember now. That's cold resistance, range defense. I think it was range defense we took, wasn't it? I don't have enough to give a 10% range defense, just four. Uh, six, sorry. Yeah, it was six. We went with six. So she'll need to get 4% range defense on the Nug skin rather than... Yeah, the cold resistance. The cold resistance is kind of only decent. I mean, how many enemies are actually using cold? Um, material, uh, that's tier 2, 12 spent spirit resistance, magic defense, same as us, heal bonus, electrical resistance, just give her the same, eh? Yeah, that is what she's going to be wearing, because it's changing as we change it. It was quite smart, that, didn't it? Oh, they're quite smart, aren't they? <laughs> I don't know why those hunter legs are so bloody awful on me, but... It doesn't make any sense. When Sarah wears them, they look bloody awesome. I mean, she gets plus nine dexterity from those. I want that. Paragon's Luster, five plus five percent melee defense. Viridium, same. Yeah, I don't. Uh, we don't have any arms, do we? Yet. Uh. Right, some nice work there. So let's... Um So we're going to stick our Hunter Mail Deflecting Blar on. That's ours, yeah. Did 
doesn't seem to change much, does it? All right, that's what she's wearing now. Slightly different colours. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does change. She's got a big piece of armour over the, the left breast, people, I think we can say. It's quite smart, that, isn't it? So, in the modify armour... Yeah. I mean, they're monstrous. What are they all about? There's just so much perk, though, that I want to take them. <laughs> I suppose I'm a bit more hands-on now, right now. Uh, sigil of 200, plus 200% flank damage, but minus 50% attack. I'm not really sure what the 50% attack reflects. But that flanking damage would be bloody awesome. Plus 25% healing bonus, minus 25% attack. I wouldn't mind losing a bit of attack, to be fair. Plus 10%... Plus 50% barrier. Minus 50% health. I suppose in the, the grand scheme of that particular kit, they're probably not too bad, those boots, to be fair. I think I might wear them. For the amount of perks we're getting off them, plus 9 dexterity. It's bloody ridiculous. I'm going to take that sigil as well. It's just arms we've not got, in it? God's sake, you wouldn't want to be my horse, would you? Look at the <laughs> heels on those. Right, so, I think we're going to make a second pair of those, then. After all that faffing about. Easy. Uh, oh, that's weapons, Steve. We don't do that. Another time. I won't have enough stuff to do the awesome ones now. She's going to have to get a slightly dampened down pair, but that's okay. Yeah, use the ram leather fennec fur. Canine leather still dexterity as well. Use the canine leather. Loads of it. Can still give her the Paragon's Lustre, though. Where's Solas at? I think he's got a pretty good kit on, if I remember rightly. <laughs> sexy! <laughs> Everything about him so sexy! Yeah, we've not got a tier 2 for him yet either. Yeah, I think he's wearing that at the minute. Something like it. Oh, that's a tier 2, but that's awful. It'd look alright on Vivian, but... Yeah. I don't think anyone wants to see a man dressed like that, do they? Yeah, Vivienne looks awesome in it. Dorian kind of carries it off, I guess. He's got that Freddie Mercury thing going on, hasn't he? That could almost be his microphone attached to his back. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's give him it. I think he, I think he gets it sort of styled for him, like uh, Sarah, much like Sarah does, though, doesn't he? Because he's got his own sort of look. I think he's got his own vibe. Yeah, I've not got any level two stuff left. God damn it! It's still going to be better than what he's wearing, though.
Plus 12 strength. Not really useful for a mage, is it? Constitution might help. Oh, yeah, he's got dexterity on. Yeah, that's not much help to him either. Rethink that fur. Go back. Ah, it's that that's going in the dexterity. I see. Yes, we could do with more... Everything about that seems to be more to do with dexterity and cunning. Doesn't matter what I pick out. Some arms to go with. Spirit resistance, maybe. Magic defense. Electrical defense. Spirit resistance, 10%. Magic defense. Electrical defense. Uh, I think magic defense and spirit defense are probably the two best ones. Sunder when hit. Fire resistance, spirit resistance. Range defense. Okay, we'll go with uh, range defense. That's the last of the rough hide. Don't think we've got any legs. Okay. Yeah, it was that one. Oh. <laughs> well, that was a waste of arm. Oh, no. uh, yeah, it was. It was a waste of arms because I can't put any arms on it by the looks of it. I can put a sigil on it, though. Sig sigil of the Nug. Minus 25% attack, plus 25% healing bonus. sure any of those are worth it really okay cool right well maybe we'll maybe try him out actually for a little while instead of soul ash just to get used to him wouldn't do any harm so him and sarah on the next one see how we got on and we've got some nice sexy armor actually those boots are pretty smart now that i've got them on quite like that outfit nice not overly sure that's the best helm for a sneaky ninjury person though but I don't, uh, I'm just twiddling around now, folks, so we are going to finish up after I've done all this crafting, but you're welcome to stay and watch with me. Um, I'm wondering if we've got, did we have any, no, Steve, that's weapons, what are you doing? Uh, oh, that's Helms, there. Helm of the Inquisitor. Yeah, the only thing we can make is that Helm of the Inquisitor. Don't have any other Helms. 
I mean, the cloth helm would probably be the, the best bet, but it's not as good as that one I've got on. Pretty badass, though. Like that outfit. Nice. Works for a works for a bowman or a... I suppose it's got a bit more armour, hasn't it? It's got more plates and stuff on it than the other ones that are more cloth and stuff. Which is more the archer ones. I think that's more a daggery person. Well, there you are, folks. We shall wrap it up. Went into an hour and 20 minutes there, people. 20 minutes of a bit of crafting. Never does any harm. We're ready for the next episode. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Dragon Age Inquisition on the Xbox One X. And I shall catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.